Welcome back folks, it's Jonathan Denwood and my co-founder Adam Brown and in this video we're going to be showing you, the real estate agent, everything you need to know how to set up your Google business profile and it's really important, it's really important that you do this in the right way, it's free and it also allows you to do a lot of other things around getting great leads and utilizing the power of Google. It really will level your ability to get great leads with Zillow, Realtor.com and some of the other big gorillas. This is mm -hmm. going to be a series of about 10 to 15 minute videos where we're going to be going through everything that you need to know. I'm going to let my co-founder quickly introduce himself and then I'll introduce myself and then we're going straight into it because we know that you're busy. So Adam, would you like to quickly introduce yourself to our real estate agents that are watching this? Yeah, thanks, Jonathan. We are excited. I'm Adam Brown. Um, I am a co-founder with Jonathan. He is the WordPress warrior. I mean, he knows all about WordPress. It's been amazing to work with him, glean from him. Um, I'm a little strong on the uh, marketing side and some of the social media themes like the Google business that we're going to jump in today. And we're really excited to show you some practical steps and tips to help you maximize the SEO and get more leads like Jonathan said. That's great. And like I said, Adam um, has said, I my background's in WordPress. WordPress is the main platform that now drives almost between 43 to 45 percent of all websites if you're looking for your own website to really market yourself online have a look at what mailwright has to offer plus we've got a host of other digital tools that will help you plus a ton of training and hand holding it's a great solution for you the real estate agent so let's yeah. go straight into it adam and let's blow our audience away and really show them how to set up this business profile on google okay but first be sure to give us a thumbs up subscribe and then hit the notification because we got a lot of free videos with a lot of great tips specifically for real estate agents that is going to help you a ton so thank you for that and thanks for joining us today so let's jump in all right, so if you go to Google Business, you can either Google it or um, you know, whatever search engine you're using, you're gonna get to a page that looks like this, and this is a business profile login screen. So we're gonna go ahead and click the sign in button and then get to your account. This is a new account, a new profile that we set up. Just to give you a basic layout, you will see on the left side over here, several tabs. There's home, posts, info, insight, reviews, calls, messages, photos, products, services, websites, and users. So you can get other people to assist you with this should you need it or want it. We're going to really briefly go through this because we have another video that kind of goes into a lot of the details. And one of the first things you might notice on here or as you're going through these steps is that you're not going to be able to edit several of these tabs and sections until you get verification. So be sure to check out our other video and we kind of walk you through how to do that. Can you so, quickly, quickly tell them what, what we're talking about? That just give a couple of minutes of what do we mean by validation? Yeah. So the verification is basically a way for you to prove to Google that you are a legitimate business. Um, one of the issues that people can run into is there's a lot of virtual kind of telecommuter type businesses that may or may not have a um, address or a brick and mortar type of a building. You work for a brokerage. So those are a lot of things that we go into and discuss in our other video and blog. And so um, it takes about five days to get verification. Again, if you have any issues or you, you are having some struggles, be sure to comment below and, we'll, and we can reach out and try to help walk you through that too. Yeah, but basically what they do, folks, is they um, ask you for a physical address. You need a physical address in the area where you are wanting to be promoted by Google. 
a business. Um, mm-hmm. It's got to be a real physical address. And then they send a postcard to that physical address, which you've got to get. And on that card, there is a serial number, and mm-hmm. you need to put the serial number in a specific section of this profile that we are showing you now. And that yeah. will prove that to Google's satisfaction that you are the legit owner of this business. And if, like what Adam has just said, if you don't do that, you still can log in, but a lot of the functionality that you really need won't be accessible to you. So this is really important, and it's important. And like I say, what Adam said, we've got a longer video that goes through it all, and also we've got some detailed posts on the MailRite website that go into this in a great deal of detail. And Adam wrote them, and he did a good job. Yeah. (laughs) I like that side of it too. So, yeah, so again, it's really, really important that you get verified. And um, just let us know if you run into any issues with it. So your homepage, you should get familiar with this page because there's a lot of basic things that are really helpful. You'll get some um, kind of some performance analytics. Um, This is a very new Google business profile. So these numbers will increase pretty significantly. Right here, this section is for you to get your reviews. So if you've never got any reviews and it's a new page, yours should look exactly like this. You can click on this and it's a great link that you can then copy, you can post, you can share it via email. But this is a great way to get more reviews. Um, You'll wanna send this to friends and family as well that have worked with you, especially if you're a new agent and you don't have clients or too much of a history for reviews. So um, take advantage of that, right? Jonathan, how important are reviews? They are crucial. And, uh, <laughs> and I do just want to point out, and we're probably after we've done this series, we'll go through a quick series about some of the key functionality of the mail.